Number 22. Calculate the standard cell potential for each reaction below and note whether the reaction is spontaneous under standard state conditions. Okie dokie. So we have our equation here, calcium nitrate CaNO3 2 aqueous plus Ba, barium, solid, yields barium nitrate BaNO3 2 aqueous plus the calcium solid. Now at first glance, this looks like a single replacement where we're replacing a metal, kicking out the calcium, pop, and calcium's now hanging out by itself. But more specifically, if we're asking for a standard cell potential, cell potentials always come from oxidation and reduction reactions. So this has to be an oxidation reduction reaction. Now just know that cell potentials, we're looking for a E cell. St we're looking for a E notch cell, that little notch up there, that's a degree sign. That just means that we're under standard conditions. And since they told us that we're dealing with standard cell potential, we got to have that notch in there. But now the thing is, oxidation reduction reactions, that just means that there's going to be changes in states, changes in charges of the elements or the ions, right? But I don't see any charges here. So I got to find them. Now remember, when you have an ionic compound, I got a metal and the polyatomic, when it's in an aqueous solution, that means that this ionic compound is going to split into its two ions. So I'm going to split it up. Then the same thing goes for this aqueous compound. It's ionic because I have a, a metal and non-metal stuff, so it's going to be split up. Nitrate, how many times have we seen NO3? throughout this whole chemistry journey. So it's gonna split up into your NO3 and the calcium. This is gonna split up between the barium and the NO3. But now I need charges. Well, you can take the coefficients, not the coefficients, the subscripts. You could take the subscripts and crisscross them back up. This one will tell me that the NO3 is a negative one charge, and this two will tell me that the calcium is a plus two. Calcium is also in the second group, so it makes sense. Same thing goes for here. One barium, two nitrates. The one crisscrosses up telling me that the NO3 was a negative one. The two crisscrosses up telling me that the barium is a plus two. And now these are just elements that are by themselves, so I'm just going to bring them down. So I have just barium yield this with the calcium. Now remember, oxidation reactions are, are ions that change uh, state, change charges. So if I look at my NO3 minus, and it goes to an NO3 minus, there was no change. So this is not part of the oxidation reduction reaction. Don't even bother looking at it. But now if I see the calcium was a plus two, and then it turned into just a calcium. Remember, if they give you an element that has no charge in the upper right-hand corner, that means that it's a zero charge. So this was a change in the charge. It went from a plus two to a zero. And then if I look at the barium, barium didn't have a charge here, and then it turned into a plus two. No charge in the upper right-hand corner, that means zero. So this was a, or maybe I'll do it on the top. This was a zero going to the plus two. Okay, well that's great and all, but how am I gonna find out the E cell, right? Well, the, the equation comes from this. The E cell is always the cell potential of the cathode minus the cell potential of the anode. More easier, more easier? Easierly. You could just remember it as cathode minus anode. Cathode minus anode. Remember, reduction happens at the cathode, and since you're gaining electrons, you're always becoming more negative. Oxidation happens at the anode. You're losing electrons, and that's why you become positive. So between these two, one has to be the cathode, and one has to be the anode. Well, look at this. Look at calcium. Calcium went from a plus two to a zero. Is that becoming more negative or more positive? Yeah, that's becoming more negative. 
So that has to be the cathode. So Ca is going with the cathode. The anode has to be the barium, but let's just double check. It went from a 0 to a plus 2. Is that more positive? Yes, it is. More positive, and that has to be the anode. So the barium is going here. But now where are the numbers? Well, that's why I had to go in the back of the textbook to find out the half reactions with their cell potentials. Now, if you're using cathode minus anode, not cathode plus anode, if you're using the minus one, you do not have to change any of the values in the back of the textbook. Just makes life easier. So the cathode calcium guy is the negative 2.868 minus the barium anode, which is a negative 2.912. Let's plug that in, and let's get out our E-cell. So negative 2.868 minus a negative 2.912. Numbers look good. Press Enter. I get 0 0.044, and that's the units of volts. All right, so we got the standard cell potential. Uh, 0 0.044 volts. Now, is this a spontaneous reaction or not? Well, now this comes down to just knowing the sign of your E-cell. If it was a positive E-cell, the reaction's spontaneous. If you got a negative E-cell, the reaction's not spontaneous. This value that I got was a positive value, and positive E-cells always mean that it's spontaneous. And that means that there is no additional amount of energy that is needed to make this reaction run. It just does it itself. And there you go. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you all are doing great out there. Let's keep studying hard. I believe in you. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. You're going to do great. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.